types of cultures. So whenever I'm with Koreans and I'm going to take a shot of soju, I know that I've got to cover up the shot glass when I do it. Know what's customary for them. Know what kind of language they speak. Know what kind of things they do. Know your audience so that it will affect your style. And when you've done that, you've completed the whole circuit of knowing about S, situation scenario. A, audience analysis. And the final S, the one that brings them all together, style. And this will then show <coughs> how this room, this classroom right here, public speaking, relates to the real world. Relates to how you're going to do things out there. And I know that I've given you a lot to digest tonight, so I'm wondering, does anybody have any questions? Could you repeat what the ADAPT stands for? A ADAPT, ADAPT stands for Attire, Delivery, Environment, Props slash Visual Aids, and Time. <laughs> Being conscious of the audience that I'm in front of, college students, late at night. Being conscious of how much time I have. I know y'all like getting out of here early. I'll take a few more questions. They're very important. Otherwise, please come ask me. But I'm sure if you have a question, somebody else probably has the same question. What are some topics people have done? A few things are like things that I brought up in here, you know, um, showing off a new product line or trying to teach a group of fifth graders about aerodynamics, <laughs> you know, or actually their thesis defense. Are we going to have a home assignment uh, on this subject? Well, I can tell that everybody's anxious to get to how this assignment is actually going to play out. <laughs> so I think. I thank you for your time. I want everybody to remember, establish that congruency. Prove it here that whatever you learned in here can work out there. Have thoughtful contemplation about the situation and the scenario. The, uh, you do some audience analysis before you go in, but not only before then, whenever you get into the room. And finally, think about what kind of style you're going to use whenever you go and speak to the audience. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Adrian. We uh, now that we all are completely prepared to deliver a speech in the real world, we're, let's talk about the assignment. Last week, all of us, the tutors, gave you guys an objective. We wanted all of you to convince us to do something to change our minds about a specific topic. But now this week, it's all about you. You all are the main feature, just like Serna said in his lecture. And what that means is that this week, you all will choose the objective. This week, the objective is key because you have to choose something that will work for you and that you feel comfortable doing. And the objective will play a huge role in the way that all of you construct your speeches. Because this is a real world speech, you're going to tailor everything about the speech to the objective. So, for example, if you're a graduate student giving your PhD defense, obviously you're, you're going to be in a situation where you have to explain some very complicated subject matter and you have to convince the, the, the panel, the professors who are listening to your defense, that you deserve that PhD. And the, the restrictions on this assignment are that it needs to be seven to nine minutes, so even if you choose a complex objective, that doesn't necessarily mean that we want to hear a one hour speech from you. We want to condense whatever your objective is into seven to nine minutes. However, and, and like I said, you can choose the audience, which, but to an extent, you have to make it accessible for everyone. So even if you are that PhD student, giving your final thesis defense, and you're in a room with professors who have been studying your subject material for 20 plus years, you still have to make the material accessible enough that at least the tutors can understand it. So, <laughs> <laughs> if nothing else, we have to be able to understand what you're talking about. And I know it can be challenging sometimes, but 
that's, that's one of the key points that we want to focus on because even, we don't want people to come in with, a whole, with topics that in, include a whole lot of jargon, a whole lot of real esoteric material that people have trouble understanding because we want to be able to give you feedback that's relevant and feedback that will help you all to become better public speakers. And finally, and one of the biggest keys to this speech is time. Just like Adrian mentioned, time is a huge part